Yo, 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 guys, what's going on today? This your boy, Voodoo306. Hey, coming back at you with the five most insane revenge. What's the word on Cheetor? Let's react in three, two, one. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Nexus. Cheating is probably the worst thing you could do to a person in your lifetime. If you Not really. cheated on, hopefully you can find some of this funny. If you are a cheater or are thinking about cheating, then maybe this will change your mind and make you think twice about hurting that person. Number five. It's pretty common for people who have been cheated on to take revenge on their cheater's car. Either smashing a few windows, spray painting it, burning it, Whatever you want to do to that car is only limited by your imagination. They're just psycho. Some people have been pretty imaginative with taking pickaxes to the car, throwing buckets of paint over the entire thing, or allowing other people to destroy it too. That way, it has I'll very be pressing little charges to do with you. If that ever it's fun and effective for everyone else, but probably the best one is wrapping the car in saran wrap. No damage has been done to the car, but it is just super inconvenient to get into. And why not go a step further and put pictures on there too? to show that you have evidence of their infidelity. Another one that is just simple and elegant when it comes to revenge on a cheater is just smashing their car window so they think you didn't go too crazy on them, but then dumping a bucket of what I can only imagine is human feces in the car. <laughs> it's simple and to the point. The message is very clear here, and they will not be messing with you ever again. Dang. I'll be Number pissed four. that it happened to me. Another popular choice when it comes to revenge on cheaters is posting it on Facebook. But this girl took it to another level and thought she had the last laugh when it came to her ex. But really, all she did was make things worse for herself. In the Snapchats you can see them sending each other, it becomes clear that she is sleeping with her ex's brother. But little does she know that he has multiple diseases. Shush, shush, shush. Diseased. Was it worth it? Just to get back at her ex? Probably not. But at least the ex got the last laugh in this scenario. Other people just went for a classic status update on Facebook with a picture, and this girl overheard some men bragging about their multiple affairs and decided to make a post that probably went viral. Here's hoping their wives found out and left them. Number 3. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned is a very appropriate saying right now with this next example of revenge on a cheater. Causing physical harm to another human really isn't a good idea, but then again, neither should. Nah. Not at all. In China found out her husband, who she had five kids with, was cheating on her. So she decided to cut his, well, uh, you know, off with some scissors whilst he slept. Hold on. He was rushed to the hospital. See, they can do that. See, chicks can chop off a man's genitals. Ha ha ha. Laugh with, with, off the friends. They may not even really do no jail time. Maybe it's just a slap on the wrist. That's all it's going to be. But if a guy turn around and chop off her breast or something... Oh man, it's just gonna be a mess. Can you just imagine guys setting girls' breasts on fire or chopping them off? Watch and look how much trouble we're gonna get into. Females still just probably get a slap on the wrist. Little where they reattached it, but she snuck back into the hospital and cut it off again and threw it out the window. They said that they couldn't find it. She's crazy. Is it worth it in this case? <laughs> Definitely not. She deserved 50 plus years Number in jail. Two. Luckily, though, there are a few good people in this world who will... Hold on, let me, let me pause it. Look, guys, if you got somebody in your life who's cheating on you, just flip them off. Say, F you. I know you're cheating. I don't want to be with you no more. Goodbye. Yeah, you can be pissed about it. But don't do any self-harm to yourself. Don't harm them or anybody else in that situation. Just say, you know what? If you, if, if you want that, MF... Go with them. Go catch STDs. Go catch HIV with them. Go catch some diseases with them. I'm not doing done with you no more. Bye bye. Bye bye. And can't move on with your life. Give it somebody else. Why screw your life up? All because they cheated on you. Chicks do some dumb things when the guy cheat on her, and guys do some dumb things when they cheat on them. They're just stupid. point out when others are cheating when they see it. This good Samaritan saw a married couple at a baseball game and saw the wife messaging a guy on her phone in a sexual way. She took a picture of it and wrote the husband a letter telling him to check his wife's phone and leaving her number in case he wanted the picture. 
He then texted this girl, and she sent him the picture of his wife's messages. Another guy had the decency to leave a message under the toilet seat after finding out the girl he had slept with had a boyfriend. Number 1. Sometimes you just want your entire neighborhood to know how awful a person really is. So some people made lost dog signs to get some kind of revenge on their cheating partner. This is a pretty funny and creative way to get back at someone cheating. I guess this is particularly effective on a college campus. It is low budget. That's to Jordan, movie, really? Making it an ideal revenge for students. But they probably still had to pay for the printing. <laughs> oh well, it's worth it. But some people took it to the next level and had billboards made, paying for them out of their joint bank accounts. So not only <laughs> does whoever sees this knows they are a cheater, but it also hits home knowing that they paid for this in more ways than one. These messages are not so subtle, but are definitely fun. Now that is embarrassing. Hopefully the Letting everybody know feels better about it and can move you're on a cheater. And find someone worth their time. But in, so everybody, everybody who passes that sign up and look up again. at it. <laughs> that was our list You're of screwed. the five most insane revenges on cheaters ever. Let us know what you thought was the craziest. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Hope you guys like the video. The original link will be in the description. Check out my other gaming videos, my other reaction videos, and all that good stuff. And yeah, guys, do not cheat on anybody. And if you decide to do it, you're screwed up. And if male or female, don't chop anybody parts off, don't cut anybody, don't kill anybody, because at the end of the day, your life is more important than you getting cheated on, I understand you deserve happiness and all that bull crap, but just don't do anything stupid like chopping body parts off and things like that, or fighting anybody over some stupid girls or some stupid guys, don't do it, just break up with them and move on with your life. Just know you you screwed up by getting with this cheater, and yeah, you just know not to try to make that, and you can try your best not to make that mistake again. That's all I can say. All right, guys, come subscribe, brain. I'll see you guys later. Deuce.